So I am going to be redoing my YouTube studio and I blame this almost entirely on Jason Mayfield and Trey Van Camp because they've been putting out their videos and talking in our little Facebook group about how they're redoing their studio and it just got me too excited. I've been shooting kind of with this setup um, for a while and it was, it was always meant to be temporary. It was just somewhere that I had that I could record. Um, I never liked the, the space confinement, right? Because I was kind of stuck in between two doors. I didn't really want the doors in the shot. So anyway, so today what I'm going to be doing is, is utilizing kind of this area I have right here. Let me see, I have my desk, my computer, I have a few little pictures and stuff up here. But I have all of this empty space right here. So I'm thinking in this area, I can make a new studio. Not studio, it's an, it's an office. It's always gonna have to be an office because I have other work that I have to do in here, but a wall. So I'm going to, we're gonna be selling this printer um, and getting a smaller printer. And then I'm gonna be relocating all of this stuff. Okay guys, it is quite a bit later in the day and as you can tell, um, we got it knocked out. So this area is now clean. So what I'm trying to figure out is now what I actually want to put here. Whenever I watch Jason's and Trey's videos, they had a clear plan. I don't. My current thought is I'm going to have uh, maybe two floating yeah, shelves with, hey baby girl. Baby, baby. With maybe my little vault boy up there and some other little decorations. Come here. Um, but we're gonna put something else there. So that is done. We got that out of there. I'm gonna figure out. I'm trying to figure out if I want to record videos standing or sitting, or if I want to have a variation. If I want to make the the floating shelves up high enough that when I'm sitting they're not visible. I don't know. I'm not figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. But we are. Uh, we got her room done. Lenny, will you go show us your bookshelf? There it is. And today, hopefully, I am actually going to be making the brick wall, which I don't know that I entirely explained what I was going to do in the last video. So here's what I'm going to do. I was already planning to do kind of a brick wall, um, but I had planned to follow this tutorial I seen on Lowe's where they took uh, furring strips and they cut them down and then they just nailed them to the wall and then they roughened them up with a Dremel and they painted them. It was gonna be a whole lot of work. But then my buddy Trey Van Camp, I'll link to his video down below. I seen that Trey actually did a brick wall like I was wanting to do, but he did it with foam board. Um, and he got the tutorial, I guess, from the Sorry Girls, so I will link to their video. Um, but I watched, I'm like, wow, that is a lot easier, a lot cheaper, and a lot less permanent. Because, uh, this, again, this is a temporary location where I'm going to be filming at. Um, so I'm like, I'm going to do it. So I have my foam board right there. Uh, got like eight feet of it, eight by eight section, or a four by eight, and then I got two of them, so eight by eight. So I'm gonna be working on that now. So first, this will be my template. So I've got to cut it down to the right size. Uh, so I'm gonna have my template, then I'm gonna mark out my lines. And I did not have a plastic welder. They recommended a plastic welder, but I have a wood burning kit. It seems like it'll do the same job. I think it'll get hot enough to melt. Mine it. has a, a clear covering on it. And uh, so I've got to peel it off. Oh no. I'm already thinking I might have underestimated this project. I'm also thinking if the plastic will just melt. I can't do that though because I have to paint it. And I think I've made a discovery. I think I'm trying to peel the wrong side, which is very much something I would do. So let me flip this thing over, try not to let it get blown to Oz, and let's see if the opposite side peels better. I will admit, 
In their video, they peeled the aluminum side. I just thought mine was different. But while I was on that other side, I decided to try to just peel it and see what happened. And it seemed to hold together. That's a lot easier. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was easy to do, but it was easier than trying to peel the, the plastic side. So my one hint to you guys, if you decide to try this and you get the kind that has the aluminum backing, is to ball it up in your hands with as much width wise as you can and roll it. Uh, it seemed to stay together better that way. So now all I have to do is take and mark, and unfortunately I do not have a two by four that is big enough to go across both. So what I'm gonna do is I'll make my first mark right along this edge and then I'll scoot it down so that I can mark evenly onto this edge. And I will do that, I'll go all the way across the board, all the way down, and then I'll take my little block here and I'll make like a little template out of it and then I will mark out my individual bricks. And that is the next step in this fun little DIY project. I have the straight lines done now. Um, so that's like a portion of what I needed to get done, but it is time to get London ready for her dance class. So gonna go do that now. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. I'm chicken my milk. <laughs> okay guys, so it has been two days since I last updated with the brick project. You wanna end this? Come here, come sit on my lap. Ugh. It has been two days since I last vlogged, and the reason is because whenever I was working on this, we were working outside, and it was 72 degrees. Yesterday was 30 degrees was the high. This is mommy, Tennessee weather. Mommy sleep. Yes, mommy is still asleep. London and me are up a little early. We're working on a brick project, but we're working inside. So come here, London. Yeah. Okay, she's gonna go jump on it for a second. I think that'll just add character to it whenever it's all painted and done. So we are working inside today because today the high is still gonna be like 40. Now I think I can do almost everything except the burning and the cut and the painting inside. So that's what we're gonna be working on right now. Here's what we're doing. You draw the lines like we were? Yeah. All right, so here's what we're doing right now. We're holding down the brick. London is drawing us a line. Our other side, come to this side. Oh. Okay, we're gonna move it down and we're marking our lines. So we're just making our individual bricks like you can see here. Um, hold on, hold on, this side, this side. And uh, London is helping me with that. Are you having fun? Yeah. Okay, here she goes, she's gonna mark this line. So yeah, we're going to mark all of these individual lines. We're gonna mark all these individual lines with this brick that we have and uh, get all of this done right now, and then we will get ready to burn. Okay, made a pretty clean area to work on. Got my board laid down. Now I just gotta warm up my wood burner and see if it's actually gonna melt this styrofoam. I have not tested it yet. Okay, the wood burner should be warmed up and ready to go. I'm nervous. I'm worried it's not gonna work. Like, like I'm expecting it to. I assume it's gonna burn it. I mean, it's what it does, it gets hot. But I want it to be a really crisp line, you know? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I need a straight edge. I'm gonna get a straight edge and I'm gonna go down to the bottom because down at the bottom will obviously be the least visible part. So I'm gonna test it on that. That's what Trey told me to do. Trey told me to at least test it first. I guess he made that mistake. So I'm gonna go down there and test it and hopefully it all goes good and I can just knock out some lines. That worked <laughs> a bit too well. I think I need a smaller tip. Okay, so I've already tried the, uh, the smaller one just a little bit. 
And I mean, it's significantly smaller. And now I'm on the fence, which one is actually better? So here's what I'm working with right now. And this is the, the thick one. And this is the small one. Now, I feel like that's too thick, but I feel like that's too thin. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the bottom line with the thin one and see if I like it. Because if I don't, I can always go back over it with the thick one and then we're good. So I'm gonna to try to finish this real quick with the thin one. We'll see what I th we'll see what we think when we're you know what I'm saying. I mean, I think that looks pretty good. The advantage to the small one is I can always go back over with the big one if I decide later I don't like it. So I'm going to go and try to do most of the sheet and see what I think of it. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. A little bit longer of a process than I was thinking, but, but take a look at this. Take a look at this. I mean, tell me, would you not believe that was brick? So I found a little trick that I did not like the size of this tip. Anyway, I know it's out of focus, but I didn't like the size of the tip, but you know what's the perfect size? The barrel. The barrel of that is the perfect size to get that crevice. So I used the tip to kind of get the pin started, and then I lay it kind of, uh, what's this, horizontally. <laughs> I lay it kind of horizontally, and then I drag with the barrel against it, and it creates the perfect, like, circular line. It looks just like brick to me. I mean, I've never laid brick, but I think that's what it looks like. Anyway, I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna quit filming and finish this up, so I'm gonna throw my headphones in, listen to an audiobook. Uh, gonna li be listening to Sitting at the Feet of Rabbi Jesus by, um, oh man, I forgot the author's name. I'll, I'll plug it down below. Um, if you guys aren't already on Audible, you should check it out. Not sponsored by Audible, but Audible, hit me up. They're, they're not going to. Um, but <laughs> anyway, awesome book, I love it. I'm gonna listen to it, it's gonna make this process just fly by. So. I'll update you whenever I get this part done. So I have this one done. Well, I have all the lines cut in it. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I really like the way it's coming out. Now I get to add some detail. This is the fun part. So, so I've come up with a few techniques I grabbed from the Sorry Girls um, that they did and I'll show you a couple of those. So we'll work on this brick right here. So I'm not gonna add a lot because you don't want a ton. Uh, a few things you want to do is just a little a nick here, right? They have a tendency to get damaged at these corners, it looks like, so kind of blur in that little corner where it looks like it just got broke off. That, that helps it look real. Um, one thing I'd seen that I hadn't seen anyone else do is like a, a, a crack, like a light crack, sort of like that. Uh, but I want to really kind of detail the edges. Now, I'm not going to do a ton of this, but I'm going to go around in a few different places and put little nicks and, and cracks and kind of blur these edges so it looks like it's broke, you know. Oh, you can't see that. So, just, just coming through, just really adding some, like, detail to these. Not, not too much that it looks like you're just overdoing it, but just randomly placing these and kind of breaking off these edges like this. You get the idea. I'm not going to do too much. I already did a little too much in that little section just showing the camera. Um, but I'm going to go through and just add a little bit of detail around. And then I'm going to start working on my second piece. It is editing Jeff. And I just finished this vlog that you're watching right now. Um, and it ended up being 24 minutes long. And that is way too long for a vlog. So what I've decided to do is split it up into two parts. To be fair, this whole project took about two weeks, so I probably should anticipate splitting it up anyway, um, but I thought I could get it down, but I, I, just, I couldn't. It had to cut out too much stuff. Um, so this is part one, and I will be uploading part two in the next day or so, so if you're watching this, there's a good chance part two is available. If it is, I'll have it linked here or, or somewhere. Um, if not, I'll have it down in the description. So be sure to check there, uh, and you should have part two available. Oh, 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 oh,